look at that. Look at that beauty. Right there. 100%. 13 hours and 41 minutes, apparently. Hi, guys. I'm G-Van. And welcome back to Metroid Prime. Trilogy version. Last time, we spent a whole 20 minutes fighting Meta Ridley. <laughs> and now, we're going to start the end game. And I'm sort of nervous about this because of... Well, one... Well, I don't know. Let's see. Well, one, there's lag. I have to worry about. Two, there's... Uh... I can have some trouble with the final boss, usually. So, um... Yeah. <laughs> Though, I did beat this all on hyper mode, but that didn't have lag. Well, sometimes it had lag for some reason, but yeah. And I don't remember what difficulty I started this on. I think I did normal. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. We have a save point in there. Uh, you can use whatever you want. There's save points and amp, uh, there's a save point in there and a missile station in there. I'm not really spoiling anything by saying that. But, uh, yeah. They want you to be really prepared for the final battle. Kind of like how Super Metroid wanted you to be prepared for the final battle. Which I enjoyed. <laughs> A lot, man. Can't stop thinking about Super Metroid. I really have to start that back up again. Because at this point in time, I haven't yet. But by the time this is uploaded, I probably will have started a new game. I don't know. I just want to take a little break. Maybe start, uh, do some more fusion. Anyways, let's take the portal. Impact crater. Hi, phone. Nice to see you, too. We've come a long way. So, here we are in the impact crater. Save here. I probably could have done that. I, I thought it was a bit deeper in. I didn't know it was right near the place. But, yeah. Um, this will probably be split into three videos, this finale will probably be, uh, separated into three videos, like usual, like with Billy Hatcher and, uh, did I do that with, um, Twilight Princess? I know I did with Sky Skyward Sword. Anyways, here's one of our missing, that's not it, limited data on unknown material available. Material is highly radioactive, you will take damage from direct contact. Mutagenic quality is at least 86% greater than Phazon. Unshielded bioforms below index level P will suffer fatality within moments. This is known as Red Phazon. It doesn't say here, but it is. Alright. This is the last normal creature that we have. Lumigek. Phazon charged reptiles. Native, natives of Talon IV, the Lumigex travel in swarms to increase their odds of survival. They absorb and radi radiate Phazon energy, making the, the swarms a threat. They're basically like parasites and leeches in the way that they, well, do nothing. Uh, okay, let's... So yeah, the red Phazon can hurt us. We want to avoid that. And then in this room, I believe... Is this the room? I think it is. Yeah. In this room, there is an endless amount of fission metroids. So be sure you have a lot of power bombs. They won't really help during the final boss. Well, actually, you know what? That's not completely true. I'd say save a few of the uh, power bombs you have just for the final boss because, well, we'll see. <laughs> it's the point I'm trying to make. Uh, I don't remember if the missile stations also, uh, resupply your power bombs, but I could be wrong. Okay. Sometimes I have trouble getting up in this room because of the platforming, but, like, with or without lag, you know. <sighs> but you guys know that I'm not the best at platforming. 
it's just kind of sad to see this, uh, I, I might sound sad, but that's because it's a bit sad to see this, uh, go, so, yeah. Because, I mean, I really had fun with this Let's Play, and I hope you guys had fun watching it. Uh, but, can't escape the fact that we're almost done, and dying. <sighs> okay. Uh, you know what? All I need to do is get up there, and then... And then, uh, I can just clip back up there, so... I'm gonna just try to do that. Um, where's the path? There it is. Okay, up here. I don't want this whole video to be me climbing, because the final boss will take a while <laughs> for me. Uh... Actually, it takes a while for most people, because it, in a way, it has several phases, like most final bosses. I'm not really spoiling anything there, either. Uh, okay, it's pretty straightforward getting up here anyway, so I just, you know, kind of clipped up here. I'm sorry that I have to keep doing that, because I was really hoping that I get some RAM really fast. It is six minutes in. I can't, I can't just fiddle around with platforming. You guys understand that, right? Wish I could, but nope. This whole video would just be me. Actually, this whole Let's Play would be a lot longer if I had to do that. <sighs> Fine, you know what? Here we can use a power bomb. We have a few, so it's not like it really matters. Um, plus, they're getting annoying anyway. So, jump up here. And... Jump here. And jump here. Jump here. Sorry. Oh my god. I swear, this room gives me absolute heck every time I try to get through it. No. We're ignoring you. We're ignoring you, idiots. No. Yeah, going through a door instantly kills them. I found that out off screen. Stupid dicks. Alright, um... We could use the spider ball track, but why not just high phone? Why not just go through here? It's not like it really <laughs> does a difference. Well, hello! What is this giant face? Guys, it's time for us to uh, enter the final battle. Meet Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime, highly evolved, Phazon producing life form. The apparition known as Metroid Prime is the source of Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain weapons for brief periods. Only its head is truly vulnerable. Other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra-frigid breath, multi-missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and barbed car carapace makes it lethal in melee combat. Recommend maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. Metroid Prime always scared the fudge out of me when I was little. So, yeah. Uh, but now that I know, now that I know what I'm expecting, uh, he's not too bad. So, just like with the Wave Troopers and the Fission Metroids, he, uh, changes color and you fight him with that beam. 
so let's see. He starts off with power beam, I think, all the time, and then phase on or wave. But this is the whole point of the combos. That's what I found, anyways. All right. He uh, goes down four floors during the um, thing. This is obviously the second floor. So. And when he starts to dash, we'll show that off in a second. But. Alright, I think he's about to do it. You go into morph ball mode and then do this. And switch sides. Simple. Uh, right. Changes now. Get the wave buster out. I think if you get too close, he uh, does look some sort of claw attack at you. So don't get too close, obviously. Um, seriously. I never expected the final boss of Metroid Prime to be the title character. <laughs> I always thought Metroid Prime just was like Prime because you're in the GameCube or something. I don't know. Ice Spreader is probably not a good idea, but. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's not a good idea because it's a weak weapon. Oh, alright. So now on to the third floor. Oh, right, he has this. You go into Morph Ball and Boost Ball. Okay, now he has Plasma. Yeah, he does do that little claw attack. Uh, I don't know. You might want to use the Flamethrower here. I don't know. He does catch on fire. Uh, these orbs. He, um, releases these orbs that give you more ammo and health. That's the way you get more ammo and health, obviously, I just said. Uh, okay, let's... I think they do a lot of damage if they hit you, so be careful with that. Uh, oh, right. Wave Beam Form takes away the uh, ability to see, basically. It scrambles your visor. Oh, there we go. Uh, come on. There you go. Uh, now he's doing ice. All in all, it's a pretty straightforward boss. Nothing too bad about it. Uh, but, yeah. I think we're almost done here, so... Oh, shoot. Oh, right. Huh. I need the other... Mis other... Item, weapon, power beam. Right, that. Shoot. Come on. Power beam. Pa Thank you. Don't know why it was taking so long. Oh, shoot. Can't hit him in that point, by the way. Because he closes his uh, visor or whatever. Come on. Never had this much trouble with him, to be honest. Uh, is that the last? Yeah, okay. Now, his fourth stage, um, he just switches rapidly, or, well, I don't know if I want to say rapidly, randomly, it's more like it, to, uh, any combo, or any, uh, beam he wants, as a last-ditch effort, sort of, kind of thing. So now he's power... Oh, dang it, that was... That was low, man. Come on. This is the part that I always have the most trouble with. And I think most people would. Just because of the, uh... You know... There's no way to tell what he's gonna change into. Like, sometimes he tricks you. That's why I didn't switch to, uh... Ice Beam right away. But... There we go. I think that attack does a lot of damage, too. Oh, okay, wave beam. Uh, 
This is actually the first battle I've ever had with him uh, while having all of the uh, missile combos. Okay, I think one more hit ought to do it. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I think one more. Oh, come on. No. Let's not. Uh, I could swear he randomly dashes at some points too, but not too sure. Oh, that was... Alright, let's get rid of these. So, see, now he's doing the rapid, or randomly. Dang it. Hey, I'm fine with this one. Okay, there we go. Dead? Yeah. Alright. So we head down there. Next step. Next time. I know this is a short video, but I don't really want to make it, you know, too long. So we'll see what goes on down there next time.